Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my reaction videos. Today, I'm going to react to Summer Camp Island, Season 6, Episode 5 and 6. It's kind of dark today because it's really cloudy outside. I think it's about to rain. Anyway, Episode 5 and 6. I forgot to check how many episodes do we have left. I feel like in this season, things escalate quite quickly so let me check for a bit Summer Camp Island season 6 we have 18 episodes okay okay so we're like one third right six like after I finish these two episodes we will be one third into this season okay cool so let's jump right into it. I sound so exhausted, I don't know why. I just walk up a stair, probably why. So, <laughs> so this is, oh what? So we come island, season five. No, not season five. Season six, episode five in three, two, one. Magic is real here. Far away from home. Summer Camp Island. Chapter 5, The Hits. Okay, okay, let me see the title card. Oh, okay, so Barb and the Alien King. It's gonna be interesting what is about to happen. Okay, let's do it. What are they doing? My dog has Ugh, I know. <laughs> what? Ah, is it because of the storm? <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> First time ever at the sound house, I officially present Hedgehog, the Fall Witch. Aww. <laughs> like, he made an introduction for her. Aww. Let's go. It's been a while since we last spent time with Barb. I mean, we s we saw Barb with her own arc, but this is the t this is like Hedgehog and Oscar back to you know spending time with Barb. Okay. At first, I thought she was no. When she started pulling her finger, I thought it's like something magical. Is happening, but then she's said that it's probably about the storm. Uh, wait, yeah, probably related to the storm, the t tornado. So I thought, oh, you know, it's like when people got aching in that joint when the weather changed or when it's rained. But I think it's more like a hunch, you know, it's like something bad is happening. So that's why Bob's body and like her joints making a weird sound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, checking the hits. What's up? You're doing your nervous face. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, they're hanging out together. And Susie with ponytail. Anyway, that's what I got the idea to wear this scarf. Take away from that story. And that's what you're doing about the tornado in your neck. Yeah, it's in her neck. She's just hiding it. Choice and bones, points. Oh, hmm. 
it's a foreshadow, isn't it? They're gonna wake up eventually at some point and it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the bears. Oscar. Well, like it's weird how nice they are, right? Come on, kiddo. It's kind of old fashioned <laughs> with like scrunchy and mohawk. Yeah, oh, the art style is really cute in this episode. Look at how round their head is. Or is that even possible? Yeah. <laughs> Barber Quartet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Can hear the entire thing. They're about to sing endless split ends. The opening number from a rock opera I'm writing about the galaxy's greatest barber. How many things has he been doing? Like <laughs> Oh my gosh. Awesome. <laughs> A song dedicated to Oscar. Well, the ferns are alive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, you are awful. But not as awful as that rock opera. <laughs> oh, it's okay, good though. Aww. Yeah, it's good. So, what is your future with Diamond? Honestly, I barely touched it. I don't think I'll notice anything. Barely. Wig on a diamond. Oscar, this is the most obvious one. Where did he even get the wig? The 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 wig from? Okay. Hmm. I wonder if Barb already knew that it was Oscar, but just messing with him. <laughs> it wasn't a tornado. It was me. It was all me. I put a lot of effort into my work. You should have seen me cutting the rascal's hair. Do you know how hard it was to create those hairdos when they're twitching so much? Wait. They're twitching? Oh no! Are they about to wake up? Pro they probably have a nightmare or something like that. Should we go help them? I think we've done enough for today. Hmm. You know, rip off the bandage. Hedgehog, you would never rip off a bandage. It's too painful. You just ignore it and let it sit there for six to seven days, and eventually you swim in a pool and it floats away gently. You're the one who keeps clogging the pool drain with all your bandages. <laughs> it's you! The two best friends who are gonna save magic! It's so nice to finally meet you. We are the two best friends? And the Is this how they yeah. found out? a nice ending yeah why create chaos let's just enjoy the sunset for now oh well at least i want to spend at least tell us you see can i follow well it's not all bad 
I feel like if there's someone who should be informed about, you know, the... Not anomaly, but like, if something, if something is about to go wrong, I think you should inform Susie. Because she, for sure, will be the one who know how to handle the situation. Mm, they're so adorable. I believe in their friendship. So, let's jump right into the next episode. Episode 6. Yes, episode 6. So, it's my command. This is 6. Episode 6 in 3, 2, 1. It's real here, far away from home. Summer Camp Island. Chapter 6, Miracle Rabbit. Okay, who's going to be in this episode? Is that Oscar and Ramona? What is going on? Susie keeps saying, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Have you got any elixir or potions or, or anything that might help? Yeah, I'm afraid I can't help you. What I can do is refer you to a specialist. Hmm. Is this the moon? The moon's butt, actually. The miracle rabbit lives there. He's the good Oh, that's old. why they went the to. Rabbit. Yeah, the Did miracle rabbit. And uh, bring a not stuck in frozen time person. The miracle rabbit's been stuck up there for centuries. He likes to hear about modern life. <laughs> I know just the one. Are they oh. Whoa. My mom always said the moon's made of lava. Yet yeah, here we are, and not a doll up in sight. What do you think the moon's made out of, Ramona? Hmm. Poisonous dust? Huh. I love that for the moon. <laughs> the moon's butt has a mansion on it. Oh, that's a beautiful mansion. It's almost looks like a castle. Oh, that's kind of creepy, but I love it. <laughs> oh. oh, so you're the miracle rabbit at your service. It's so fitting, you know, like everybody believes that there's a a bunny or a rabbit on the moon. <laughs> my apologies for my door, man. Have you come all this way just to see little old me? Well, more importantly, we came all this way for that special potion. Of course. I've got your potion right here. Oh, oh yeah, that's it's it. actually exist. Anti tornado potion? Huh. I thought it would be more complicated than that. I mean, it's probably going to be more complicated in the sense that he, like, the rabbit probably asked Ramona and Oscar to do something for him. But I don't know. I just thought that they probably not. Like, a cure doesn't exist. Like, Susie has to do something on her own or to herself anyway oh and i'm pretty sure the doorman and the miracle rabbit is the same person <laughs> see Why does he... The way he speaks is so ominous. Like, who, is, who talks like that? Which is more than a little crazy considering the rental itself cost a dollar and ninety nine at Garden Video. Fascinating, Oscar. <laughs> oh, you are a cascade of information. I, I can't get enough. Oh, stop. I'm off to check on dinner. Ramona, look where we are. Stop and smell the dust. Agreed. It may be poisonous, but you do get used to it. This rabbit has weird energy. Yeah. And who might you be? The sous chef, of course. But now I breathe. <laughs> so the rabbit <laughs> works at as every like position in this castle. The master of the house will know. I will go get him. Man, I'm having the time of my life. He's maybe trying a little 
too hard, but I can relate. <laughs> oh, I need for one second and the food arrives. He's always going on about how much he loves it here. He never wants to leave. I love <laughs> the rabbit's accent. I wonder who's the voice actor. Suspicious. This is his story. They liked the meaning that time gave the friendship, and so they left him all alone. Mm. And when time learned what some mortals had done, time set out to stop him from spreading his gift. But time hates a cheat, and so our hero fled all alone to the cold, dark side of the moon. And time, time never did catch up with him. Hmm. So sad to lose all your friends. I'm so sorry to hear that. Sad? That was a story about me being smart. Um. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. That must be the plumber. I completely forgot I called him. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Well, that was weird, right? Hey! Oh, don't let me. I wonder if he needs a friend. Or he just, you know, needs someone to keep himself occupied. I don't, I don't know what he, what he wants. It's really hard to tell. He said leaky pipes. I'm gonna go find the restroom. Hurry back, Os. Got a lot of courses to get through. Ah, I'm so sorry. Is that real? Like, has someone lived? There until they die. Just a minute. So he, the rabbit, I didn't realize Miracle rabbit had other guests. doesn't live alone. Oh, he's a very gracious host. No complaints. Oh, would you look at that? I almost walked out with my 1940s magazine. You should check it out while you're in there. 1940? Okay, Oscar is smarter than I expect. You usually this type of trope because you know his character he he's so like naive. I expect him to be like like doesn't get the the sign, the signal, the you know message at all, but he got that immediately. So pretty, it's pretty nice to see. <gasps> it's really big. He's creepy, but he's funny. The rabbit. You were right the whole time. If we eat the dessert, we'll be trapped here forever. We gotta go. Yes. One hundred percent. Glad she's on board. The exit. Hurry. Looking for death. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Butler. No, I was feeling sinister. This is going to blow your mind, but it's me. Of course. Okay, look. If you let Ramona go, I'll stay and be your friend. Susie needs you, Ramona. Miracle Rabbit, I promise I will tell you everything an 11 year old knows about the 60s, 70s, 80s, and today's. <laughs> he's 11? He's only 11 and he's like this capable.
1969, the Miracle Mets <gasps> won the World Series. Miracle Mets? I like the sound of them, but you should go with your friends. Well, okay. Wait. A parting gift. For some close friends. Time, close nerves, magic. Now go! What is that supposed to mean? You wanna get out of potion time? Now I think something is going to happen to time. Reject people. Oh, oh, it's so ominous. What is going to happen to time? That this is going to happen to either time or magic. Oh, I can't wait. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, as usual, tell me in the comment which one is your favorite episode or like, do which one do you like more? I like the first one, it, it's it's nice seeing Barb again and like the odd side is really cute but I feel like episode 6 is going to be really really important um as in like important to the main storyline and it's very interesting Oscar is also really nice, I love him yeah don't spoil anything by the way, I want, I want to know what happened by watching the show myself so yeah you can talk about it but just don't spoil any detail that hasn't been revealed yet yeah thank you so much for watching stay safe and i'll see you guys next time bye guys